everyone. It's Amber Manning from Everett Purdue, leading emotional eating, digestive, and hormone expert. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about what happens when we compare our health journey to other people and internally. If we're struggling and we feel like we're failing or we've messed up or maybe we've had, you know, a loss of control of food or an emotional eating or binge eating episode and when we're around other people and maybe we see them watching what they're eating or we really look at them and they're thinner or they just seem like they have a monkey belly and we start to compare journeys and think, oh man, I'm a failure, look at them, they're doing so good, um, they mustn't have any problems, it's so easy for them to say no to this stuff or it's so easy for them to be in shape or whatever it is, we compare our journey and the problem with this is A, I feel like we're judging ourselves, which doesn't support our own journey and is not a loving, you know, supportive act of ourselves. And B, we have no idea what's going on internally for them, what their negative self-talk is, um, if they're actually, you know, just have a really good metabolism and it's very easy for them to be mindful around food, or if they have their own struggles with food and their own struggles with the relationship with food. We don't know any of that. Instead, we judge and we assume um, and then that can actually trigger us to sabotage more and make us feel like perhaps like giving up almost or, or feel very frustrated with our own journey. So I encourage you to stop comparing your health journey to others. You can be curious of like, oh, well, I'm, I'm curious of what they're doing and, and maybe why they're um, where they're at. And you can always ask some questions, but stop judging your own journey because even if you fail, you mess up, that happens. You're only human. It's part of the journey. If it wasn't happening... I doubt you'd really learn anything or get anywhere, but it's something I went through a lot of and, you know, failing and getting back on track and, and learning from it and something I see with all the people that I work with as well. So I'm going to be talking a lot more about this in episode 96 of the No Sugar Coding Podcast, which you can subscribe to on iTunes or click the link in, below in the show notes to subscribe as well. Um, I also post new videos every Friday, so you'll want to stay tuned for all these previews and exploration of different topics around emotional eating and our relationship with ourselves and food. Uh, and of course, be sure if you are struggling that you email me at info at amberproof.ca to book a complimentary consultation to explore where you're stuck, where you're struggling, where you're judging yourself, and where you want help to support reaching your health goals, as well as having freedom from emotional eating and a loving relationship with yourself. Be sure to check out amberapproved.ca for a lot more great information and insights. And I will chat with you next week.